so good morning you guys um i hope everyone was able to participate in the uh sales that happened i'm gonna play with a lot of the stuff that i was able to pick up last week of course everything i got was on sale or over the last couple weeks discounted tremendously and i picked up this uh wet and wild pro brush set it has 10 professional face and eye makeup brushes and <laughs> child it was originally 30 dollars i don't know about that their price but i got them for 15 yesterday and if you can find them at your local wild greens they're going to be 15 dollars through the 25th so yeah i'm excited to use these um i've been looking for another little highlighter brush and this just might work. So, yeah, we're going to play with a couple of those today. I don't know if I'm going to get to all of them, but we will definitely give it a try. How about that? And and then I'll just introduce the stuff as I go along so that um, if you're interested in any of these items, you can run by your local Sephora, Ulta, or even your local Walgreens and get this um, set for. I'm going to test them out to see how they do. I'll let you guys know. I think they're going to be just fine. What's the worst? <laughs> so we are going to try to have a little fun in the 35F palette. Um, yeah. Mm, okay, yeah, let's, let's go with this and see what happens. <laughs> I don't think it can be that bad. It's, I've actually used it and created a couple of looks out of it. Um, but yeah, let's just see what we come up with for today. So I'm going to go in with the uh, third shade at the bottom. For my transitional shade. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a little more peachy and pigmented than I thought it was going to be. Which is good. Hey. Mm. I'm just going in with a fluffier brush on my 224 from MAC to get it kind of, you know, blown out. Nothing too, too heavy right here in the, the region where I block out everything. Everything. So I'm gonna go on my first little wet and wild brush. This is let me tell y'all the name if I can find. Okay, I moved the box too far away, but this is the fluffy one, and we're just gonna go into the shade right next to our uh, blending shade. So it's the fourth shade. It's like a little taupey brown. I'm gonna take that right into the crease. This brush gives you, so you may have to dip a couple times because it's just slightly picking up the color, which is okay. You just, just, just definitely have to build up the color. It's not bad. I think it's just not picking up a lot of the product. See, yeah, see, like I'm swirling and it's just not really picking up. Well, that tag kind of did, it's not right. Hmm. Get it built up to the intensity that you want it, and then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna come right back on the next wet and wild brush. I'm gonna pick up the black that's in here and uh, just kind of keep it concentrated right here in this corner. Because it's not really creating harsh. So if you really want to have like softer looks that you build upon, these brushes will probably be great for that. Doesn't look like they're going to make anything just extremely, extremely intense. You know what I'm saying? So like you would have to pat this on to even get the black to really be intense. But then you could probably use this same brush to kind of fluff it out a little bit. So I'm going back in with our uh, pre-shade and just kind of blending it into the black a little bit just to kind of make sure that that corner stays a soft. Um, I just want the black a little bit over there. And just make sure you're blending straight across. And then we're gonna go back in with our third shade in the palette at the bottom. And just kind of make sure we're blending out the top half of that. Just don't want it to get too, too smoky and too, too heavy. 
I don't think the shimmers are bad in this palette, but I do want them to really show up right through here. So I'm just taking a little bit of the NYX Mixing Medium and just kind of laying down a little bit of that to give it something to adhere to. Don't want it to move. It's just an extra step that I do sometimes. I don't do it all the time, but doing it today. So on the third row, the second to the last shade, I'm going to pick that up on my Mac uh, 242 and uh -oh, turn it around to the shade. Oh, that's pretty. That looks different on the lid. Okay. I'm not going to take it all the way in because I'm going to bring another color into the mix. Dang, that's real pretty. like this shade y'all it's pretty super surprised okay okay that the the last shade on the third row i'm taking it and just dabbing it right here in the center i went ahead and took the other shade all over and uh yeah just to add a little more dimension to the eye look oh yes i do like that come through come through mm -hmm. And we're going to go back in with our fourth shade at the bottom, which was our crease shade, and just kind of blend that out over the top. Make sure everything's well blended. For the brown bottom, I'm just going to use the first shade on the very last row. It's like a little creamy peach um, shade. I'm going to use that for the brown bottom. So this looks just screams fall to me. Let me know what you all think. I'm going to um, spend a little time blending this little area out. And uh, then we will be back with some um, facial face stuff. You know, the other good stuff. Bring it all together. <laughs> so here's a look with uh, just mascara and liner on. Um, you could totally stop here, but I am going to go in with some RDL Wispies, which are just kind of light and just give me a little fluffiness to the um, eyelash today. But you don't have to do that. You can just totally stop right here and we can go on with so, complexion. So, um, Ulta sent a coupon out for the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. Well, not for this particular foundation, but what they sent a coupon out is you, you can use $10 off of any Bare Minerals purchase over thirty four over thirty dollars and this was thirty four. So check your email if you're interested in this foundation. You can get it for ten dollars off, which I'm glad I waited because that's better than the twenty percent off. And uh, yeah, because I really have, I really do like this foundation a lot. So uh, we're gonna get this put on and we will I'm be using right back. My Eco Tools to get this blended out. Just an FYI, I will use a brush. Um, sometimes when you want a fuller coverage, um, but I just like the way the Eco Tools does a quick spreading of the product. Well, you know, getting it blended on. And this is my, almost like my perfect, uh, shade. I want to say it is a perfect shade for me. And I really do like it. Mm -hmm. On it with my regular concealer. From uh, Clinique, the Beyond Perfecting. You know, y'all like tired of this one, huh? <laughs> I do like my tar shape. I know that's the hottest one, but I, I don't really use it every day. That's my everyday concealer right there. I'm using the Wet n Wild 
little brush. I don't know what this one is called. Per se. But I do like the way it is. Kind of. Yeah, I like the way it's blending out. But let's see how it does underneath the eye. I don't know if this is what it's for, but we're going to try it today. Pretty good job. Yeah, I like that. Go around the little edges of that. Gonna okay. go in with the other brush from Wet and Wild and get the contour blended out on my nose. Hmm. I just put a little bit, whatever was left on my brush from yesterday. I didn't really go in and get any product i just use what was up on my brush because i don't want to do too much today i just want to test out these brushes and see how they did mm -hmm. so far yeah kind of liking it you would have to apply pressure of course because these are not um heavy duty but they definitely can get the job done blend that around it so I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia uh, blush, I mean, this is the contour kit. I'm gonna use the second shade at the top to see if I can get a, um, just a little bronze going. Nothing too heavy. This is the other brush from, um, oh, okay. The Anastasia, I mean, this is the other brush from the Wet and Wild Lord. Oh, it's okay. Let's see. It kind of gives everything a soft look. It's not bad. Blend it out. It kind of picked up a lot right there. So we can blend it out in circular. I'm gonna need a little bit of darkness. I'm gonna go in with the darker shade at the top and just kind of concentrate it right here. Yeah. Can you get right there. This is a, a, another brush. I don't know what it's supposed to be for, but I'm using it to get the little contour box part done on my cheek. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Gonna go in with the Anastasia um, blush kit. I'm going with the shade Vegas. As you guys know, I love this kit. So do. For a little bit of highlight, I'm just going to go in with Becca's Rose. I was going to try to use this uh, highlight brush, but I don't... Oh, okay. Didn't seem like it was picking up the product. Mm. Like it's not really... See, hold on, let me show it to y'all what it's doing. It's just kind of like, see how much I'm fluffing it? And then it's just not really attaching to the brush. Mm, I don't know about that. Mm. Let's go in with our old faithful. <laughs> Anastasia. It made me swirl all this stuff around. So hey you guys, this is the final look for me today. I had so much fun playing in the um, Morphe palette. Uh, I'm still not sure 
Um, it's pretty good. It's pretty. It's better than what I thought it was gonna be. Um, let me know if you got the 35F and if you think it's different than the 35O. I'm curious to know um, your thoughts. I got some feedback from a couple people that said that they were gonna return there, and it's not that bad. Um, I don't know. I like it. Um, hmm. We'll see. Um, for the wedding wow, the favorite, my favorite brushes were the eye brushes. Oops, something is falling. I don't know what they got. Oh, Kevin D. Um, definitely the eye brushes for sure. Um, let's see. I didn't use the big fluffy brush. Oh, this was pretty good for the um, blending out the. What I use this for? Oh yeah, to blend out my concealer. And this one was more so for trying to create a little bit of a, a, a contour, like a light contour with powder. And then I did use this one to bronze with a little bit. So yeah, um, they're pretty decent. So if you pick them up, I don't think you'll be disappointed. You'll get your money's worth out of them. Um, the only one I didn't use for sure was the, oh, and the highlighter brush. That's a no. I don't, that's not a, it doesn't pick up the powder, right? I'm not sure what, that might be good for like the Stila, um, highlighter. That's the like gel formula. That might work better for that. But yeah, I didn't even get a chance to use the powder brush today. And this little flat top brush. I didn't get a chance to use that as well. It's down here. So that's why I keep reaching down there. <laughs> So that's really it, you guys. I really, I really did. I really did kind of enjoy the um, the little wet and wire brushes, and you know I have on my new favorite um foundation, which is the um, Bear Pro. I really think it gets better with time as the day goes along. But yeah, I actually think I'm gonna change out my lipstick. I'm not really feeling this lip. Mm, let me. I'm gonna take some pictures and see. And if I change it out, that means I really didn't like it. Cause I was trying to really use this shade right here, but I put a base down and didn't go right. So I think I'm gonna do it without the base. And then let's see how that works. And then I will see you guys. Look for the pictures to see what I did. I think I'm gonna change out the lip for sure. And um, yeah, cause I'm not really feeling this one. All right. Until the next time, I'll see you guys on the next turn. Thanks you too. Bye bye.